Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my humble abode. I go by the name Tony and to join this family kindly consider subscribing. And it's been a minute but there's a lot going on but you know what? Our girl is getting it done. So yeah, but I promise to try my best and be as consistent as possible. So because I don't want to take much of your time, let's get into the video. So the first thing you want to do is to get your shoulder measurement and this is how you're going to take it. You're placing your tape on your center back and you will spread your hand like this. You will raise your hand like that and I want mine to be at the elbow point which is 18 inches. Then I'm going to measure my full length which in this case is 28 inches. So this is my fabric. It's one meter fabric. So I'm going to fold it into two like this like this then i'll fold it into two again making it four like how we normally fold a circle skirt that's exactly what i've done here so we have our piece looking like this and these two sides are folded now on the top i'm marking my shoulder and when i say shoulder i'm certain you remember we were working with 18 so i marked the 18 inch there now from the top I'm gonna mark down 28 because that's what we agreed we're going to work with as the full length okay so I'm marking down 28 inches and I'll just mark that at random places and connect it like so now on this point where I've marked my full length I'm going to duplicate my shoulder measurement which was 18 then I'll connect it to the top point that I marked earlier okay after joining i am sure you can see that i have something like a triangle right here so i'm just going to cut out the excess and remain with what i want to remain with yeah so now since we have this i'm going to mark down my waistline my shoulder to waist yeah which is 16 for my case so I've, I've connected that with a straight line as you can see now from this outer side that was cut i'm going to mark in six inches on the waistline kindly note that i'm not marking this from the part that is folded but from the other side okay yeah now uh, from that point i'm gonna go up two inches and down two inches giving me a total of four inches then i'm connecting that with a straight line like so now leave that point for now we will need it the next thing i'm going to do for now is to mark my neckline so i'm working with the neck depth of three inches and i'm marking down three inches neck width is three inches and the neck depth is three inches so it's three by three then i'm connecting that with that with my chalk like that to form a curve because i want to work with a neck with a round neck okay if you you have a different shape in mind maybe you want a v-neck or whatever you can go ahead and do that but i'm working with a round neck which i've cut out like you saw me doing now moving on to this point that we've marked earlier this is what we're going to do i'm going to come down half an inch from the top and come up half an inch from the bottom like so so you can see these points that are marked half 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 from the top half from the bottom so the next thing we're going to do i'm going to slash to slash through this part so when slashing make sure you are not going beyond the the marks that you've just marked the half inch point i'll show you after slashing you will see that now this is what i have can you see i've slashed to the up to these points that i i just marked okay now from the half inch point i'm going to to draw that thing so you you are also going to draw that thing that cut triangle Cindy. yeah you are going to draw that cut triangle like i did there and you're going to snip through after snipping through like so i've turned this to the right side okay i've now turned my fabric to the right side so because when we were snipping it was on the wrong side now this is how i'm going to stitch this part i'm going to let me do let me redo it just not to confuse you so this is how it is we are on the right side of the fabric i'm going to lift it like this okay then i'm going to to place them like this 
right sides facing okay so um, i'm going to do that on this part on the triangle this cut triangle i'm going to do that all i'm going to stitch these pieces this part all round like just like how you you can see me pinning so this is how i'm going to stitch it i'm going to raise it like so face the pieces as you can see me facing and pin it all round then i'll go and stitch that part guys if you didn't understand this part because it's a bit tricky just i think you will have to watch two times this place to understand just in case you're finding it complicated but it's easy so i'll just pin it all around then i'll head over to the sewing machine and i'll stitch that down and you are also going to repeat the same same thing to this other side you're going to raise to lift this top part which is we are on the right side of the fabric still remember that so i'm going to raise it up and i'll stitch it all around like so and after we are done this is how our keyhole is looking can you see simple like that so our keyhole is here it's looking so good now we want to work on our neckline so you, you what you want to do is now you are going to measure around your neck all around your neckline to determine how 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 long it is so for my case it's 25 inches for my next circumference then i'll be adding five inches to that to make it 30 so this is the piece that i'll be using for the neck okay so i've already gone ahead to, to iron the gum on it the canvas on it so it's 30 inches long and six inches wide okay so this is what i have the next thing we are doing i'm folding it in like this I'm folding it in like so then I'm folding it again like this okay so uh, the reason why I'm folding it in like this is because I want to to give a curved shape on this side that will be sitting on my center front because I want my in it my collar to have some shape on the center front okay so um, I'm just marking my center front on the fabric and before stitching this on on my top i'm going to stitch the curved edges where i've just trimmed right now after i was done stitching like so i'm going to snip and turn it to the right side so that it can stay relaxed so guys this is how my collar is looking after pressing it down now we are on the right side of this fabric of this top sorry this is the right side sour now i'm going to put this collar like this i'm going to put it inside on the neckline inside okay like this then i'm going to pin it all round and by pinning see you know when i'm pinning it's like i'm sewing so this is how i'm going to stitch i'll just pin it down first then i'll head over to the sewing machine and i'll stitch i'll stitch this place down Now since Mtony is done pinning, I'm going to stitch it all round like so. Uh, this is what I have after stitching. Let me bring it to the right side so that you can see what we are talking about. By the way guys, I added the 5 inches because I wanted it to have an overlapping effect on the front. It makes the top a bit more, more stylish and a bit uh, more than ordinary. This is how far we are with the top. I think it needs to be ironed for it to stay flat. But so far I'm loving it. I love it. I like it or I love it. Now what I want to do right here. I'm just trying to arrange this base. And I, am, I want to give it a curved shape. Because I don't like it looking that pointed. So I'm just going to trim off like that on the corner to give it a curve. So the next thing I'm going to do on this top and most probably the last thing I have this strip right here or this strap, this strap I'm a strip. So it's three inches wide and go ahead and cut 
a, a, a very long piece because it's supposed to go all round for my case i did cut out small small pieces because obviously i was out of fabric okay so this is the piece that i'm going to bind this top all round so i'm going to stitch it like this and kindly note that the right side of this piece is facing the wrong side of my top so i'm placing the right side of the piece on the wrong side of the top then i'll stitch it on that place here this is the wrong side of the fabric yeah so i'll stitch it like so then when i'll be done i'll move the top to the right side then i'll i'll cover the stitch by stitching it on the right side i hope that makes sense if you don't understand check out my video the video that i did explaining how to sew this beautiful dress that explains this binding thing better because i just noticed when i was explaining my camera was a little bit out of angle but yeah i'm sure you know how to bind if you don't know check my video i'll post the link down below in the description box so that you can check that out so this marks the end of the video guys remember to subscribe like comment and share bye